Hello, welcome to Otitar Fab TV. Today I'm going to show you how I made this Nigerian style vegetable soup. This vegetable soup is made with fluted pumpkin leaves, that's ugu and water leaves. Let's just dive right into the recipe. We'll be using our fluted pumpkin leaves, that's ugu, wash the leaves properly, cut them up and I sprinkle some salt and just let it stand. The next we'll be using is water leaf. This water leaf, just make sure you watch this video to the end so that you know how I prepared the water leaf before use. This is not the end result. So I'm going to use some pepper and some crayfish. I mixed the pepper, I used yellow pepper, I used the red one. I'm going to use goat meat for this. Some komo, that's cow skin. Some stockfish, I've soaked this in salt water so it's soft. Periwinkle and some dried catfish. So I'm going to make sure you season the meat properly. I'm going to cook the meat, the stockfish and the pomo together. I put in two seasoning cubes and some salt. Add the onion, chopped onions, and just cover this to cook. Now this is it, 7 minutes later, I'm going to add water, add water to allow it cook. I don't want this soup to be watery, so I'm going to add a little water. My good meat is soft already, it's, it's a soft type, not a very hard type. Put in the dried fish now, and let them cook together I'm adding some yellow pepper to give it some flavor and little heat cover this to cook While the meat is on fire, I'm going to work on the water leaf. The water leaf has a lot of liquid. This is rainy season now. So the water leaf has so much water and I don't want that. So I'm going to squeeze out some of the liquid. As I'm doing this, of course my leaves are going to shrink. <laughs> they are not going to be as much as they were. This is how much liquid came out of the leaves. So this is what would have been in my soup. Now back to our meat. Our meat is almost, in fact it's ready. So I'm going to just put in the periwinkles. The periwinkles are normally kind of cooked before they are removed, so it does not, it does not take long for them to cook. Put in your pepper and crayfish mix. Mix it up a bit. Cover it at the perimeter cook, cook, cook for about three minutes. Now I'm going to put in the oil, my palm oil. I'll cover this and let it cook for another three minutes. 
if you have watched up to now and you're not subscribed guys please subscribe and not just subscribe but when you subscribe click on the notification bell select the all option so that whenever videos are posted you will get them and as you watch this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up it helps youtube know that you enjoyed this content Now this is ready to receive my vegetables. I'm putting in my squeezed water leaves now. Vegetables are so healthy there. In fact, you can't go wrong with vegetables. If you're seeking to lose weight, if you want to build your blood level, if you want to have increased antioxidants in your system, vegetable soup is the way to go. So allow this cook for 3 minutes. Now I'm going to put in my fluted pumpkin leaves, my ugu leaves. Before I put them in, I just squeeze a little. Now I have not added anything in this soup because the seasoning I put at the beginning and the salt are okay. Bearing in mind that salt was also added to the leaves. So you don't correct your seasoning when you have not yet put your ugu leaves, your fruited pumpkin leaves. When you put the leaves, then you can taste and adjust accordingly. So you do not over salt your food. I've added a little salt because I noticed I need some more salt. I'm adding palm oil too. Feel free to leave your own. You don't need to add much palm oil if you don't want. But I added more palm oil because I wanted it to have a particular look and taste. I'll cover this up for like 3 minutes. 3 to 4 minutes. They don't need to cook for a long time. If not, they are going to get brown and lose their nutritional value. Our soup is practically ready guys. This soup is delicious. This soup, in fact, you can customize it to suit your taste. Are you a fan of vegetable soup? Which is your best vegetable soup? Let me know in the comment section. Yeah, so this is how easy it is to cook yourself delicious Nigerian style vegetable soup. You can have this with your eba, you can have this with your semu, you can have this with you know, any swallow of your choice. You can even use it on the side with rice. Yeah guys, so I've turned off the heat. The soup is ready. You can see the vegetables are still green. Still has that nice look and there's still a little crunch to the vegetables. This is our soup. This is the final result. Thank you so much guys for watching. Feel free to browse the channel. There are many more recipes. I have other vegetable soup recipes. I have a Dikaiko recipe. So feel free to check that. The thing is that I, different, there are different ways of making these soups. You can add one thing and it just changes the taste. So feel free to check the other recipes so that you can learn one or two things that I did not include here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Bye.